Holy crap, you guys. So as you can all see, Chris Paul just got traded from the Oklahoma City Thunder to the Phoenix Suns. So let's talk about what this means for Chris Paul. Let's talk about what this means for each of the teams involved. And let's talk about what this means for the NBA as a whole. So let's go ahead and talk about Chris Paul first because he's the main man involved in all of this. Now, as we can all agree on, Chris Paul is pretty much towards the end of his NBA career right now. So as an NBA fan, I've kind of been pushing for Chris Paul to get traded to a championship contender just because I think he is too good of a basketball player to see him retire without winning a championship. So I'm not surprised that he got traded, but at the same time, I don't really think the Phoenix Suns are going to give him his best chance at winning a championship. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the Phoenix Suns and what exactly this means for them now that they have Chris Paul. During the regular season of the NBA bubble, the Phoenix Suns surprised the entire NBA. For those of you who don't remember, they are the only team who went undefeated in the NBA bubble's regular season. So it's not like we can sit here and pretend like the Phoenix Suns are a bad team, but are they a good enough team to win a championship this year now that they have Chris Paul? I personally don't see it happening, but if I'm wrong, then hey, I'll be the first to admit that I'm wrong about this. And at the same time, I feel like the Phoenix Suns might have given up a little bit too much for Chris Paul. The Phoenix Suns gave up Ricky, Kelly, Ty, and Jalen, as well as a couple of draft picks. And on one end, I'm like, okay, Chris Paul is a great basketball player, so it's worth trading for. But at the same time, these are the guys that helped the Phoenix Suns not lose a single game in the NBA bubble. So is that chemistry really something you guys want to give up in order to get an aging Chris Paul? So I don't know. To me, it seems like they did give up a little bit too much to get Chris Paul. If this works out, if Chris Paul and Devin and Booker and potentially somebody else who they might acquire down the road if that's enough to push them over the edge then hey it was all worth it so who knows what's going to happen you guys leave a comment down below sharing your thoughts I want to know what all of you think of this entire situation give this video a thumbs up it really helps out the channel and if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button I appreciate you guys all for watching and I will see you guys next time I am out of here